Now to get an understanding of the types of methods within the various methodologies, um, quantitatively and qualitatively, and the various different types of methods that we've been mentioning, but not going into any great depth, um, there are two papers I'd like you to have a look at. The first explores three qualitative methods, um, looking at ethnography, case studies, and design-based research. So it goes into some detail in how those three methods are used in educational technologies research. And then the second paper, um, which is sort of a more of a book, but I only want you to have a look at the first two chapters. But this goes through and essentially categorizes the various types of studies within educational technologies research and gives you a more broader understanding of the differences between quantitative and qualitative educational technologies research and some of the specific approaches within educational technologies research. Um, looking at survey research, causal collaborative research, or sorry, causal comparative research, um, correlational research and experimental research in the quantitative um, methodologies. And then in the qualitative approaches, it looks in particular at narrative research, phenomenological, ethnographic, case studies, and grounded theory. So these two papers combined give a good picture of the major types of research methods used in educational technologies. But not exclusively. There's quite a lot of other ones that are also explored. One of the ones you're exploring, um, the Delphi study, as part of consensus research, is not well covered in these particular papers. But there are a number of other research methods and methodologies that are available to you as a researcher that this will give you a good understanding of the major ones used within educational technologies research and will enable us to explore these in more detail as we go through the course.